like a legit fan. A legit, a legit fan. How would you respond to critics who would say, oh, you're just going to try to profit off your daughter now? No one's forcing me to do this. That's not true that she wants to make money off of me. And what about those homes she claims to own? GMA talked to mom Angie's former boss at a Vancouver real estate firm who told us little Tay filmed using his car and some of his properties for sale, all without his approval. I didn't shoot in anyone else's house. You didn't shoot in anyone else's house? Just like... No one has proof that I did. And who's behind the shocking content on Lil Tay's social media accounts? My mom doesn't run social media accounts. I use my own Instagram. These images will live on and follow you for the rest of your life. Is a nine-year-old really capable of making this kind of decision? This is my decision. I'm happy with what I'm doing. We spent time with Lil Tay and her family six weeks after they moved from Canada to Hollywood. I'm going to have my name on one of these stars one day. We were surprised to find a precocious, soft-spoken nine-year-old whose mom says she's a straight-A student. What are all the things that you do? Swimming, skating, piano. She is a well-mannered and a great kid. But that's not what comes across on the internet. People think it's like funny. I guess because I'm nine years old and I've accomplished so much. I don't think a lot of people are believing that you're making millions of dollars at nine. If they don't believe that, then I don't really like care. Uh, the Canadian influencer and of course rapper Lil Tay has died unexpectedly according to a statement that has been shared on her social media accounts that was on Wednesday. Very devastating and sad news. The young rapper whose real name was Claire Herb rose to fame on Instagram that was in 2018 when she was said to be just um, around nine years old. Her viral fame centered around videos of her rapping and of course depicting a lavish filled lifestyle with luxury cars and of course homes with <clears throat> Lil Tell was referring to herself as the youngest flexer of the century. She's been jovial. She's been um, one of those promising young talents and her passing on actually means it's going to uh, leave or to, le to leave a big blow on the entertainment industry. Nevertheless, or even though she was really young. On Wednesday, her death was announced in a statement that was unshared on her IG where she has more than 3 million followers. It shows the depth and strength of her works even though she was really a very young uh, girl. The statement actually read it's with a heavy heart that we share the devastating news our around i mean of our beloved claire's sudden and tragic passing we have no words to express the unbearable loss the indescribable pain and this uh, this outcome was entirely unexpected and has left us all in a very big shock her brother's passing adds an even more unimaginable depth to our grief during this time of immense sorrow, we kindly ask for privacy as we grieve this overwhelming loss as the circumstances are surrounding Claire and her brother's passing are still under investigation. So it's really very sad. I can't even imagine a fourteen year old a fourteen year old, you know, passing on such a very young, jovial, talented girl. It's really, really very, very sad. Now we are sending our deepest condolences to the family, friends, and of course everyone who was close to her and all the fans around the globe because she had a huge fan base. You look at her numbers on social media, on her IG, she had over 3 million followers on YouTube and, you know, and other social media platforms. She was really talented and, we know, we, you know, we had lots and lots of hopes around her. Rest in power, the young queen that is Lil Day.